Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, and if Kara dies there, uh, game over. Like, she's just done. If Connor dies there, though, you get a new Connor. You just yeah. get another gravestone. But, but yeah, every, really every, good chase sequence. Everybody really lives. Good. That's, that's inventive, honestly. Not, not often you play both sides. So, Fiends, I don't know about you, but I think this is the worst gameplay sequence of the entire oh, yeah. game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, I think it's like pretty bad. Oh, well, it's, not, it's boring. That's one of them that's fun, kinda. But most of it is just uninteresting. This is gonna be the last scene before it goes to bed. Yeah. Well, the part's gonna go for 19 minutes and then we're done. 19 minutes? 19. Okay. Now, 1 hour 30 things. 10, 10 hours. We're gonna do a speedrun. <laughs> no! No! But speedrun! <laughs> they missed God. Yeah, <laughs> that the bit where you, you like. Mm hmm? What do you say? That bit where you like fucked up the prompt when you're running across the highway oh, was brilliant. It was brilliant. I was. <laughs> My heart jumped a little bit. I'm yeah. like 95 percent sure I pressed the D button, <laughs> but not hard enough. Not hard enough. Okay, <laughs> me as a okay. First of all, what the fuck is the Android thing down there? Is like spazzed out. <laughs> <laughs> also, why is there yeah. an Android only? Also, I would take offense as a human. I I want to take the stairs. I want to go on the lift. Would you? <laughs> I, I wouldn't care. I like taking the stairs, and I like that there's the alternative of taking the stairs because sometimes, you know, machines can't be trusted. You tr you trust a stair lift? You mm, I won't, I'm not sure. You're looking for those little yeah. You're looking for that symbol. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, then what do I need uh, to find? The second left. one there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now I need to find the back alley. Full of pipes. Mm -hmm. I break through the wall. Punch. No. No. I believe it's on that. You see that alleyway? Yeah, I believe it's also there. Yeah, look at that. That's exactly it. Oh, which symbols do we find now? No, you, you find oh, the just, same just symbol, just in different spots. So there's one up there. No, but like they were all there's some one stars here. Bottom right. right. So yeah, yeah. So I thought maybe the stars were it, but they were not. Nope. And now to find some weird robot. So I think if you're gonna put a sequence like this in your game, you have to make it interesting. Like, you have to have a really good reason for making me spend my time this way. And to me, this is just not a compelling puzzle. It could just have been done very differently. Oh, I'm sorry, the symbol is obstructed, I can't scan it? You kidding me? Yeah, so you have to go around there and pick up the, the thing. You can go through the fence. I mean, okay, that is annoying. It's, right? It's obstructed, are you serious? And I feel like they could have made a decent puzzle out of this. 
but it's just too. Well, the problem is if they low. if they put the just a find uh, find your way to the end thing and follow all these clues like by yourself, that would have been more interesting, right? Yeah. But uh, the problem is then a lot of players would probably be like, well, that's too hard. Let me look at it yeah. again. And that, that's the thing with video games, right? You can put a hard puzzle in, but it might just halt progress for something. You don't want to do that. Um, but I do think if you're going to have a sequence like this, it has, a, has to, at the very least, be interesting, if not challenging. Like, it doesn't have to be a challenging puzzle. There should be an interesting puzzle. And find the exact same symbols over and over again. Yeah. Not so the other symbols are on the other side of the wall. So if you look at yeah, the left, they because... would be, wouldn't they? Find a way to yeah. reach a roof. Well, it's a sort uh, of door there. Push... But... I'm just going to tell you, you pushed the dumpster. I think. Right, things? Push the dumpster? Oh, yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. You crazy? I, I pull it. Oh, you pull the dumpster. So... Obviously. Come on, Shadow, keep up. Yeah, clearly. I wonder what's the what the military did in this universe with the androids, because you know that any so, piece of technology is gonna get heavily a, in this game, a oh no, you're missing a symbol. Uh, in this game, a large part of the military are now androids. I believe it's 40% of the military are androids. Something crazy. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's fucking white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's dumb. a lot into this game, haven't you? Who, me? Yeah. Um, well, I really, really enjoyed previous David Cage games, and my only problem with them was that they had more potential than, than they actually released in the actual game. So, like, Heavy Rain, that is a game where you try to find a serial killer. And that is a game with so much potential, right? And there are some brilliant sequences in that game. And the only issue is that I'll, there's also a lot of guff in between trying to find the serial killer. The problem is that I think, in, for me personally, that game is that it has a like, reveal that is so bad. Like, it, it's not like, yeah. it's at the, initially, when you first look at it, it's like, holy shit. But then the more you think about it, the less sense it makes. And I feel like if you look at all of David Cage's previous games, there's been a big reveal, right? And it's just, in my opinion, um, with Heavy Rain in particular, it made the game worse. Mm. Partly because I, do, I don't like the unreliable narrator. Yeah. I like my stories to be honest with me. And so the fact that in that game, like spoiler, the, you mean you like play, you, one of the characters you play is a serial killer. Yeah, and is the fact the that what killer. you played didn't really happen, is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, there's a very specific sequence where you actually kill, you're in like some shop that sells typewriters because you found a specific typewriter that was used to type a message and you're playing as a private detective who is, who is um, the serial killer, the, the origami killer. And what he does is he just kills the guy. He just knocks him out with a phone and then opens a window to make it look like, oh, a guy came in, killed him and ran out. Only the game portrays him as innocent as you're playing him. So yeah. from your perspective, a guy really did come in and run out and kill the guy. Oh. And now you look super guilty. And oh, so you, this, the scene is made tense by you trying to cover up evidence so that you can get away without the police finding you. Yeah. And the problem is like, you killed the guy, and I just hate that. I really w would rather it was honest. Yeah, that you're actively trying to get away as the as the killer, right? Well, just make the killer someone else, and that sequence becomes so much better. Yeah, but absolutely, you should make the killer someone else. 
make it a tangible person we're trying to find. Because then there's an, there's an interesting thing there. Whereas when you have to like have these big reveals to make your story interesting, it just completely the thing turns is, I don't off. mind big reveals at all. If they're like foreshadowed and it's like a big oh shit moment and it makes sense, then it's great. But as soon as you pull something out of your ass for the sake of yeah. it's just shock value, it, it loses all meaning. I think the thing, my whole thing with reveals, my rule of thumb would be they should add to the story in order to be yeah. a good reveal. So if you look at the most famous big reveal, it's The Sixth Sense with Bruce Willis, who is, in The Sixth Sense, actually dead. That kind of adds to the story, right? Yeah. It's like he's not actually investigating well why this girl can see ghosts. He is one of the ghosts. And that just kind of adds to the story. Yeah. Whereas if you look at Heavy Rain, it doesn't add anything. To me, for instance, the ending of Vanishing of Ethan oh, Carver really adds to the story because it's a uh, holy shit. This is yeah. It's, it's all. Um, sorry. Oh, did you find? Did you find that one? Yeah. I wasn't sure if you're standing in the right spot. In Vanishing of oh, Carver, yeah, the, the ending oh, yeah. changes everything because uh, you know I'm spoiling Vanishing of Carver now. If you care, that uh, in the end, yeah. it's just you, you are part of the story that this this child wrote. You're looking for this child. In the story, but it's actually a story yeah. that the child wrote, and it's a big. It, it's it's it's. I I love the ending at there. It's so good. So I I think I would have preferred yeah. if that reveal wasn't there. I would have much preferred just being a detective. No, absolutely. I love that ending because it reframes the entire game and it makes it really interesting. But so the, the game the... never actively lied. You were no. looking for the child. It's just that um, the entire thing was uh, written by the child. So it reframes it in a way that made it pointless. So I would have much preferred to be an actual detective trying to find what is the bottom of this mystery. And it turns out the mystery was just there for the mystery. Well, episode. we found out the bottom of the mystery in like the first flashback sequence. You knew, oh, it's a Cthulhu monster. And that was not... Then the rest of the game wouldn't be that interesting if that was just the ending. Oh, it's a Cthulhu monster. I mean, it could have been interesting, right? <laughs> You're saying it like it's a boring, oh, another Cthulhu monster. Sure, again? <laughs> oh, whoa, oh. That old chestnut. Kill. That <laughs> old dead horse. Can I not That's an interesting go up? Reveal. Can I not go up here? It's like clearly yellow as an interactable, but I can't interact yeah. with it. Oh, oh, I mean, you can. Yeah, you just jump. Yeah, this feels too linear to be interesting of a puzzle, right? Because there's no way right? I can yeah. come to my own conclusions and figure the thing out quicker or anything. Well, imagine if instead of like one long tired sequence to get to this place, it was just you're in a room and there's a puzzle to solve. And it took you just the same amount of time, but it was that natural puzzle. I would enjoy that a lot more. I well, think. I'd enjoy just having a part of Detroit f fully free with like a couple interactables that are unnecessary and a couple that are necessary and then here's like the, the entire riddle now go figure out like you find okay that place now where's the next place that that falls yeah i would find that I think you're, that's asking a little too much right you're asking for a huge gameplay section it, it could it could I'm, be relatively short it doesn't have to be huge yeah Oh my god, the sequence keeps going. I forgot about this. I thought it was this a hard part. This part is good. God damn it. But no, this part is good. This part is alright. It's, it's finally getting interesting. Yeah, let's meet those, uh. Re that refuge for. androids. Deviants. Deviants. The local term in this game is deviant. Wow! Don't even have doesn't even have night vision. <laughs> I mean, would you, you would get a robot <laughs> if you had if robots were real, right? And you could just buy one. Would you really care if it didn't have night vision? No, of course not. Right? <laughs> what is that relevant? 
Just give it a flashlight, we're good. <laughs> Actually, I would like it to have night vision. Why? What was it? Was Reckless. It <laughs> what In the night, it could see them. <laughs> it couldn't give it a flashlight. Give well, it a light. But when I'm asleep, right? Yeah. I don't want it to be sitting in my living room with a with flashlight, flashlight. on. <laughs> it could just be sitting there, just looking into nothingness. I mean, yeah, but I mean, shut it down in in the night, right? If you don't use it, shut it down. Like, turn it off. So, on that topic, I would want a robot that would fight the burglar. Ooh. I want a real deterrent, you know. I want a robot that I could physically just pull a switch and it turns off if it if yeah. it's not like superhuman and becomes my friend. I would so, just like Connor. That's if fine. it has if it has the off button, right? That means that there's problems that they don't foresee in the robot, right? That would worry oh. me to no end, right? Because they would only put an off button there if they were really worried about it. <laughs> hmm. I would want to be in a spot where they're not worried about it at all. They're not even going to give me an off button. Your phone has an off button. Are you really worried that your phone's going to kill you? If your phone didn't come with an off button, I wouldn't. Like, who cares? Right? Yes. I'd, I'd care, because, I mean, it's, it's essentially it's spyware that you yeah. do, willingly carry around and being able to just turn that off is... Oh, the game froze. Ah, here we are. It's not oh, frozen yeah. for us. I'm, I'm surprised that we're not running into more problems, because I heard this game had problems and stuff. Well, Jesus Christ, let's let's go exactly well, there and it's die. Not, it's, it's not Steam, so... Oh, is this Origin? It's not Origin. This, this is epic. Oh, it's epic. A platform most people absolutely hate. I never understood you know that, to be honest. It's just because it doesn't have achievements. No. I don't give a shit about achievements. Be. People don't well, care about achievements, do they? Well, they do, because you can get this. Well, I got it. Epic, it is, Epic is also a lot more uh, unsafe, and there's a lot more shady things going on, I'm pretty sure. That's why people don't like it. The same so reason. The same reason, let's say, P TikTok, apart from being super cringy, <laughs> it's essentially just Chinese spyware. And, uh... So, when the US government said, hey, we don't trust TikTok, all it made me think about was like, oh shit, you clearly steal all the shit from the ads. So you know exactly what they're stealing. <laughs> like, I don't... Uh, I just know that I got it for... Was it 400 krona it costed normally in Denmark in, on Steam? Which is yeah. a lot of money, but mm. f on Epic, yeah, here they it are. cost 200, so mm. a half of the price. Welcome to Jericho. Hey! Hey! That's like super creepy. They didn't have to be this creepy. They didn't have to all gather around and be like, Welcome, my child. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> like you need to uh, do a little robot voice. Yeah. Welcome, so, child. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling it here, right? This is... Yeah, for the time being. 